Welcome everybody. So what I have here is I have a set of parallel lines and I have a transversal. And what we want to do is use our angle relationships uh, to be able to determine how we're going to go ahead and solve a problem like this. So when looking at this, the main important thing is we want to see how do our two angles relate with, in regards to the parallel lines as well as the transversal, the line that's intersecting the parallel lines. So initially I can see here that here's my parallel lines. I can see this angle is inside um, be, or between the two interior um, parallel lines, which we call it's an interior angle. And this angle is outside of the two parallel lines, which we call like an exterior. So therefore I have an interior and an exterior. And there's only one type of angle relationship that we've talked about when we have one interior and one exterior here and that is corresponding angles. Now for them to be corresponding angles what we do is when we look at the intersection of the line of the transversal with the parallel line I guess that's kind of in a bad mark but those angles have to be in the exact same position. You could see it here where these in, where the parallel line intersects the transversal this angle is in the lower left hand corner and I know I didn't really leave enough room over here but you can see over here that's in the same area as well so therefore they are corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are equal in measurement. So therefore, um, I can write, first of all, let's write it. So I write corresponding angles to remind me of what angle relationship I'm using. And then they are equal in measure. So I say 9x minus 7 is equal to 21 minus 3x. Now I just need to get the x's to the same side. So I'll add 3x, add 3x, and therefore I get 12x minus 7 equals 21, add 7, add 7, 12x equals 28, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals, now I can't uh, divide this, um, I can't 2, oh, divide by 12, not 2, divide by 12. Well, 12 does not evenly divide into 28, however, 4 does, and when I do that, I get 7 thirds. So that would be your final answer for your measure of x that's going to make those two angles equal to each other because you have corresponding angles with parallel lines and a transversal. There you go. I keep on talking. Bye.